Okay, there's some long tail just here. I'm going to try a bigger one first. I thought I'd just try a big one first because I can get a long distance on it. So we'll just see if I can pick one up. They're feeding well, but they're feeding on small stuff. So I'm going to have to go down to my small one, I think. Last time I got a hook up on that particular one straight away. This time, no. So if I'm not getting hit, pull it in. Have the other rod ready to go. And this is the small 2.75. Use the wind to your advantage and cast it up high. And that was an absolute shit cast, so I'll do that again. Slipped off my finger. Let's see if I can get it this time. All right, this is right in the zone, right? There we go, bang, we're on. If you match the hatch, you can get them on bigger fish, on bigger bigger ones, but best idea is get it as close as you can to the, to match the hatch, which is the small white bait they're feeding on. So you saw that I put the 4.75 through, it would not, you know, didn't get hit. Two casts, the very first one I put this where it's supposed to be, we got a hook up. It's all about placing your boat where it needs to be so that you get pushed onto the fish. They're pushing the bait into the wind, so you put your boat in the drift line and intercept them. I've only got a one eighth head on here, so it's small and a small hook, so I can't go too hard on him. Look at him here. This is where you want to be in the middle of all this. It's only a small fish, it's not very big. The other thing is to turn them the opposite direction to what they're swimming, it brings their head up, which cuts the fight down. Here's only a small longy. I'll let him get down under there. He does his uh, loop to get out. And we're there. <laughs> come on, give it a few more kicks. Oh, the lure's come out. And there we go. Whew. That's because I took pressure off the rod uh, while trying to net him. But anyway, that's what we got him on. Imitation of a little white bait. 